I am so glad to have this woman here to be a guest. Um, this woman is Ruth Rowan. She's the one who does all the enormous amounts of um, interpreting. She's going to be on her feet for two shows on March 10th. You should come and watch and see if she actually makes it through the second one. <laughs> Would you please welcome Ruth Rowan? I, uh, my, when I first heard about this sign language stuff, it was like, what? You mean somebody's going to be on the stage with me? No way. And I was really a pain in the ass about it. But now, I mean, do you, do you have a problem when people don't send you lyrics? I mean, do you think it's because they're just being uh, unresponsible or uh, they really don't like it or they just forgot or what? Or don't you care? I mean, don't, oh. Doesn't it take an enormous amount of preparation? It does. It takes a lot of preparation. Um, I really need uh, the lyrics. I mean, a lot of people just send the words on paper, but they don't send me the music. So then I can't listen to it, and I can't and know what's feel it. To I can't when. feel the music. Yeah. And that's part of what I want to express. Well, I think you do a really nice job of showing people what the music sounds like. Thank you. Yeah, I love. I think so. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it, what's your welcome? Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> you just do it back to the person. <laughs> yeah, okay. I like that about sign language. <laughs> um, uh, you went to school at Ohio University. Right. Uh, and you graduated slightly after I did, but you were on time, right? Mm -hmm. I, I was a little I bit was late. a baby. I was only 21. <laughs> oh, Lord. I was kind of much older. <laughs> already. Um, so you didn't always do this stuff. When did you start doing this? Well, I took my first sign language class when I was at OU, probably back in 1972. And I was interested in it and I liked it, but I didn't know any deaf people. And I was, a, I was studying to become a speech therapist. Uh -huh. And when you're working with speech therapy, you know, I just didn't use it. But then I started when I moved to Dayton um, in 19, let's see, 80 around 1980, I started teaching profoundly retarded students. And I had some 18-year-old students who could only say, buh, well, what was a speech therapist supposed to do, yeah. you know? So I thought, well, they can use their hands. At least if I could teach them some basic signs, then they could make some choices for themselves. And it was just like this miracle happened. Oh, and it was really wonderful. So that's how I got interested in using the little bit of sign language I had learned. So then I started taking a couple more classes here and there, and a deaf uh, woman, transferred into my building as a staff member and I ended up trying to interpret at staff meetings and things for her. And when the job kind of came to a standstill when I started freezing our pay, I said, it's time to go back to graduate school. That's good. <laughs> so I picked <laughs> University of Cincinnati. And yeah. I went into deaf education at University of Cincinnati. So that's what you have a master's or something? Yes. yes. I asked a Ouija board when I was a kid if I was ever going <laughs> to get a master's degree and it said Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Smart Ouija board. I didn't ask, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you like doing this a lot. I mean, it looks like you're having a really good time. Mm -hmm. The other day, uh, I watched you during the um, uh, coffee house mm -hmm. for uh, that Women's Energy put on, and it was like this exhausting mm -hmm. amount of time. And you were standing there the whole time, and oh yeah, well I think I need a back rub. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like your hands don't get tired, your mm -hmm. back gets tired, mm -hmm. but it works good. Yeah, that's where all my tension goes in my back. Uh huh. And everybody else gets to go off the stage and get a drink of water and do all the stuff, and I'm still interpreting for the <laughs> MC. <laughs> it's like break. <laughs> What's break? Oh, just cut, <laughs> break. Yeah. Um, you're teaching at. Hughes High School. Right. Tell me what classes you have. Don't tell me. I kind of know. Okay. Tell these people. Okay. Well, I teach uh, 20 hearing impaired students at Hughes High School, and I teach primarily English, reading. Um, I have they can read? I thought they, there was a thing about that, that uh, deaf people didn't want to be reading. Oh, they definitely want to be reading. It's just a lot more difficult and a lot more time consuming to teach a deaf person to read because they're not hearing the sounds. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. we grow up hearing those words and being able to sound things out when we see them in print. And that's it it's a lot of it's taught by rote. Yeah. Isn't it kind of hard um because deaf kids their families don't know sign language. 
Eleven. I'm assuming. So they only have you to talk to right. during the day. Right. It's real difficult. The communication is limited. Now there are some families that sign all the time. Yeah. And then there's other families that when, the, when their children were younger, they were told by the professionals and the doctors not to sign to their kids because uh, they would never learn to talk. Lord. So uh, there's been a whole change in our field. And so, you know, it left out a lot of the kids. You told me at one time that regular kids uh, who can hear have a certain level of vocabulary mm -hmm. and kids who can't hear have a certain other level. Mm -hmm. What is that? Well, something like by the, by the time a hearing kid enters school, kindergarten, they have a vocabulary of somewhere around 6,000, 10,000 words. And when you're talking a profoundly deaf child, maybe 50, 100. Oh, Lord. So that's how far behind they are when they enter school. I really appreciate it that you are bringing this music, this culture, to people who can't hear. Um, thanks a lot for being here. Uh, we're going to see you do uh, the interpretation for, for Therese. Oh, I'd love Betsy's to do it. Sing. Oh, I really like it. Um, Me too. <laughs> but thanks a lot for being here. Thank and uh, I'll see you until then, but for sure I'll see you March 10th. For sure. <laughs> You're a sweetheart, Ruthie. Thank you. Kate. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Bye-bye.